<laughs> Sorry, everyone. I'm just incredibly excited today because Valve, after many, 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 many years, have put out a, a native uh, Steam client. Well, it, it's it's a beta version. So I thought today we'd, we'd just do a small video showing it on my M4 MacBook Air. Now, uh, right now, I've got the current version of the Steam client, which is the version built for Intel-based Macs or the x86-64 x86, x86 architecture. And what you can do is you can go up to Preferences and Interface and Steam Beta, and it will download the native ARM64 client. But first, um, and there you can see it's Intel, and uh, we can see the memory usage here. It's, uh, what's it right now? 71.972. Personally, I've never had a problem with the Mac Steam client. A lot of people have with the, with the lag and the long load times. Let's let's update the let's update this bad boy and restart now. So it's updating, and we'll go over to CPU, and you'll be able to see that it will change from Intel to Apple. We don't have to rely on the Rosetta 2 translation uh, as much anymore um, because most most new Mac games now are optimized for the ARM64 architecture. I would say pretty much pretty much all of them are really. But obviously, we still have a lot of older Intel old Intel games that won't be updated. Oh, let's close this. I've tested this a few times on this Mac and a M4 Mac Mini. Yeah, like it might be a little bit more responsive, but I think the yeah the main benefit of this is just that this is native now and it doesn't have to run through a Rosetta 2 translation. It's possibly a bit snappier. Also, memory usage is now 64.9. So that is a bit lower, and that is good because um, it can just give us more resources to work with, even, even if it's just a few megabytes. I think there's a lot of uh, miscommunication right now about how Apple are... Um, retiring uh, Rosetta. Ro Rosetta is not really being fully deprecated or, or phased out with Mac OS 28, which is in 2027. Because if we if we look at Apple's uh, documentation, they actually note this. We will keep a subset of Rosetta functionality aimed at supporting older, unmaintained gaming titles that rely on Intel-based frameworks. I'm going to leave a good post on the Mac Gaming Reddit server from Homey4 about uh, the Rosetta 2 depreciation. It's definitely not the end of Mac Gaming, um, um, but you know, Apple are pretty common for, for, for moving away from things from like OpenGL 32-bit apps and now the Rosetta 2 translation. But yeah, that's basically all this video is, guys. I think this this is pretty awesome that Valve have done this. I know they've done it very, very, very late, and they probably have done this because of Apple's announcements uh, over the past few days, 
with Rosetta 2. Um, but I'm, I'm hoping that they have um, maybe worked with Apple on this update. That would be really cool as well. Thank you for watching. My name is Stewie, and sorry that I'm such a weirdo at the start of the video. <laughs>